What's up, yo? Captain's log, where are we at? What are we doing? I had a refreshing night of sleep and I'm still really stuck on that delightful point. You ought to have. <laughs> so, funny story. We may, did you already say this? I don't remember. What'd I say? There was only one room left. <laughs> no, I don't think we, well, I might have talked about it. Go there's, ahead, though. There was only one room left and we went around town trying to find a cheaper one. We couldn't. But by then it's like 11 o'clock at night and we're both pretty much done. And Ryan's like, you know, forget it, we'll take it. We go up there, there's no sheets on the bed, everything's full of garbage, like clearly nobody has been through this room. So we call down, they're like, oh, we're so sorry. How do you feel about a free upgrade? And Ryan says, well, I'm not gonna fight you on it. Like, <laughs> okay, we can work with that. We get there, this, this hotel room legitimately has a couple different rooms in it. Two king beds in different rooms. Really nice bathroom. Hey, you know what? I didn't have to hear him sleep. No. Snore, you mean? That's, like a bear? I was trying to be nice, but yes. And it was delightful. Um, good continental breakfast. Yeah. So now we're going to head to an auto parts store. We're going to check all the stuff that we know is wrong, look for new stuff that we think might go wrong. Yeah. Um, make sure that the, the slogging, winding, bumpy road that we went on yesterday didn't take too much of a toll. And, um, yeah, put some miles down. We're excited. It's going to be good. in Fremont in your 65. Monterey, baby. <laughs> On Fremont. <laughs> yeah. Monterey, California. Really excited about this sunny, hot California weather we've got here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's freezing, dude. It's freezing. We're back in jeans. Oh, we're going to have to do something Some of us were loyal to jeans from the beginning, by the way. We're going to have to do something about all that rattling. All right. I got updates for you. We uh, found another coolant leak, so we tightened up some hoses and fixed that. We uh, took care of checking the fluids. We put oil in it, uh, needed just a little bit of oil. The, the coolant actually looked okay. Filled up the brake fluid, checked everything, did a little carburetor work, tried to, to uh, uh, just kind of make it run a little better. Kyle, I'll check, check out what Kyle did for us here. So Kyle wired in power for us. And so he ran it down behind the dash there, across the floor behind this, and now we've got a power bank in the middle here so we can uh, charge some batteries, keep our cell phones charged up, and uh, have everything kind of ready for us. Try not to get lost. Yeah, try not to get lost, the, all of those, uh, you know, semi-important issues. So, yeah, and uh, I might have bought something that I didn't need, which was some tire, some wheel and tire shine. Uh, these wheels are awesome, but they are dirty and they need to be shined up. So I'm hoping that uh, Maybe we can I don't know Maybe we can stop somewhere and I can put some tire shine on it and or some uh, chrome wheel cleaner on it So we're at uh, we're at an O'Reilly Auto Parts trucks running pretty good. We've made it a long ways and uh, We're gonna keep on trucking Sounds good Yeah Yeah, it seems okay. At least from over here, I'm not really feeling the surge either anymore. No. I bet that was not the base gasket. Could have been. Yeah, could have been. It's funny how it's just little things you can, you know, you can change them, and it just makes it that much better. So we're just gonna go straight down to the water. Huh? Uh, yeah, sure. I think at this point, it's whatever you see, just go. <laughs> yeah. Show. A couple of fellows here. This is special. Let's see, 
know we'll get an Eddie Park in California. On the Eddie Beach in California. All right. Should we go this way? Let's see what's down there. Why not? There might be a whole lot of funky cars. <laughs> a dog fight. Seven miles over the speed limit. <laughs> would you, would you hush? <laughs> oh yeah, this might be better. All oh, right there. I'm feeling it. Any of these? I mean, it's right there. Yeah. At the end of it. There you go. This guy's going fishing. I need to make sense of the So, Brian, shut that down. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to take this moment and, and and confess something to you. What's that? And I'm gonna take do this right before church, so you can't stay mad at me. Okay. This is on. Are yeah, you, is I, I, this, know. Oh, I know. We're doing confessionals. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, Sunday morning confession. Sunday morning confession. Okay. I know, not our normal style. No. No. What's going on? I have never actually watched any of your YouTube videos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not a YouTube not even guy. One. Okay. All right. Hey, you know but, what? You know, I, I was I planned on taking this last week and brushing up on all of them yeah, and then the week got there. crazy. Yeah. So I'll tell you what. I forgive you, my child. <laughs> Be blessed. <laughs> Be blessed. Wow, do you hear that? He has never watched one of my videos. But I got a cool but shirt. He's, he's got a cool <laughs> shirt. Oh my goodness. What is the world coming to? Okay, that's fair. That doesn't doesn't hurt my feelings. There's only about 3,000 people that, you know, are member, you know, subscribers and about no, yeah. 200 watch them consistently. So, you, I, uh, and they're very valuable people. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, you know? I'm thankful for all my subscribers yeah. and all of the people that watch my videos, but there's just not a lot of them. So, you're you're just well, part you of the group what? that's not. When we get back, I right. will make an effort. Okay. How much effort, Kyle? So much effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I just I feel a lot of BS in that statement. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All right. All right, here we are. Do you remember what this was called? The, the, the Campground Pier okay. Park. Campground Pier Park, California, <laughs> mid Central California coast. We know what we're doing. Don't worry. We're professionals. Yes. Holy moly, look at all the birds down there. Wow, this is cool. Yeah. Yep. Dang. I'm a little nervous with the with the way that that was <laughs> with the way that those boards are uh, falling into the pier down there. Oh, I know, but still. <laughs> how much? How good is the rest of this? You can swim, right? Well, it's it's got to be cold. Ah. These boards are shaky. My my wife would hate this. None of this none of this appeals to her at all. Well, what do you think, guys? This is pretty awesome. Nice little stop. We're going to. Uh, we did a couple little. We got a couple more small repairs to do on the suburban. I know you're shocked by that. Uh, Kyle fixed the back door. Two latches. Two latches. So now it latches correctly. And yeah, it's not uh, gonna fall open and throw our lift at the car behind us. Yeah, which, which would be that would be bad. And uh, yeah, you can. I don't know if you can see it in the video. It's way down there. It really stands out in a parking lot. You don't you don't lose it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check this out for for a minute. Whoa! Look at those pelicans. Dude, look at all of them. They're pelicans, right? Yep. I wasn't. As long as you're talking about the big ones. Yeah. Crap! Big look at all the look at look at all the poop down there. It's just white. Oh, oh, it's smelly. I must say, it feels like we're Kyle. It feels like we're on the Oregon coast, just because it's cold. Yeah. You know, chill, just cool. I mean.
right, Kyle and I are uh, sitting here at the beach, eating a granola bar, having the water. We're going to uh, listen to a sermon from Calvary Chapel Corvallis. Uh, if you're not uh, going to church or don't have a church that you want to go to, uh, try Calvary Corvallis. Uh, Rob Verdine is the lead pastor there. We're going to listen to him preach a, a sermon. We're going to enjoy, I don't know, probably another half hour here or so. And then we're going to get back on the road. I uh, hope you guys are having a great Sunday. We sure are. And uh, there's the bird right over there. Right by the water. Looks at home. It does look at home. Right next to the shipwreck. I, yeah, right next to the shipwreck. <laughs> yeah. It kind of looks like a boat, doesn't it? It drives like one. Yeah, kind of. But uh, yeah, there's a shipwreck out there. This is a pretty awesome spot. So anyway, we're going to we're gonna listen to a quick sermon, enjoy our Sunday morning, and then hit the road. It's a good run, a little small block. We're having a little carburetor trouble. It's surging at low, idle, at like low throttle. I think that's just probably because it's going to need a rebuild. But when we're out cruising the road, it, it does just fine. And plenty of plenty of get up and go. We've we've tightened up all of these uh, coolant lines. We put this battery uh, hold down back on because the the person who changed the battery never put uh, never put that on. I zip tied the. Uh, plug wires away from the manifold. This is our, keep it from dripping on the intake uh, fix here. That that filter doesn't look good. It's kind of, it's bulging on the top and the bottom. So we're gonna replace that before we keep going because I don't want to fire. Um, filled up the, filled the uh, power disc brakes. It's, uh, that's what I was thinking. That whole kind of rough idle, yeah. surging at idle. Yep. Um, my idle brock on my truck sat for a while it had the same issues it ran great but as soon as you let off the idle was not no good go. yeah so i'm thinking there's a little passage in there that just is the collect all when it sits yep a jet that's yeah. clogged does it still look like it's leaking down the side of the block there you know i'm not seeing anything indicating it no uh, i wonder if i don't think that's necessary anymore no uh, well i will just leave it it, it ain't hurting it's cheap insurance yeah, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, radiator, pretty, uh, pretty cool old beast. Is there a light up here? What up, yo? See if she stays running. Oh, she'll stay running. So we're on the road, we're gonna try and just charge on to Half Moon Bay. Do some fuel, do some air, check tires and stuff like that there. You know, if we were uh, the guys who had legit roadkill money, I would say let's get some shocks and do those in a parking lot somewhere because this may come as a shock. No pun intended to you guys. Rubber band tires don't absorb anything. No. And I think these shocks are pretty close to original. It, it rides like it when I was looking at them. It rides how I would feel like a water buffalo would ride. Just. Yep. Yep. I think that's uh, that's a fair. Is that a fair assessment? Estimation for sure. The water buffalo. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. You too. Shocks are great in this thing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> really awesome. 
Woo. Yeah, she said if I passed out, he was gonna molest me. Not true. I said I'd give you mouth to mouth. I'm certified in first aid and CPR. It's how he said it, guys. It's how he said it. <laughs> okay, you might be right. Really pretty out here, though. Middle Earth. This is super cool. It is funny though. We have gotten a lot more traffic today than yesterday. Yeah, it's been uh, awful. I'd say awful. By comparison to yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was incredible. Less chill, I think yeah. I would say. But prettier. Yep. Also Definitely true. prettier. Pacifica is where we're rolling into. The town of Pacifica. We are almost to the Golden Gate Bridge. Did you know we were going to the Golden Gate Bridge until about 10 minutes ago? I didn't actually. I didn't think we were going over it. <laughs> are no, you I'm excited? excited. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Uh, I don't like roads in San Francisco, though. I can tell you that. What? You don't like it when they asphalt oh, steel plates into the road? Just as permanent fixes? Well, when you have rubber bands for tires. Everything is magnified. We'll see how many parts fell off by the time we get home. At least we've got good shocks, though. Yeah, really great. And solid steering. Yeah, we've, we've been all over the road. This thing's like driving the Titanic. I mean, what I would assume the Titanic, the Titanic would be like. All right, go Kendrick! Whoop, whoop. Did you just whoop, whoop? I did, whoop, whoop! So we went into this 20 mile an hour turn and my, uh, my seat was up in my behind. That sounds physically almost impossible. It doesn't if you squeeze your cheeks hard enough. <laughs> oh boy! So you can do anything you wish to. Like drive a 1965 Suburban across the Golden Gate Bridge. On accident. <laughs> On accident. Yeah, right. Mm. Oh, there it is. Look at that beast. Look at that way sound like you're trying to kill me all of a sudden. I'm not. I'm just saying, whatever happens, we're on the biggest bridge I've ever seen. In a 1965 Suburban with sketchy steering and sketchy brakes. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Don't forget the fire hazard. I wonder how many people jump off here here. This is how you know you've worked in law enforcement a little too long. <laughs>
trip to tradition. New sunglasses. What do y'all think? Styling, right? I know they were seven ninety nine at the gas station. You take what you can take. On another note, hey Kyle, how's she steer? I can't talk. We might die. <laughs> Kyle's counting his blessings that we made it down the mountain last night. Yeah. In the dark. Yeah. Just, the steering leaves a little to be desired. It's uh, it wanders just a little. Yeah. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. You say, hey, I need to correct. Maybe go three inches to the right. And it says, what? Three lanes over? Cool. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty bad. I. It's not good. No. It's not good. No, no, no. I'm gonna be honest. The the bleeding transmission didn't bother me. The surging gas, not a problem. All of those mechanical things, I'm like, yeah, we're good. If I had gotten on the freeway with this thing when we first bought it, I would have pulled over and said, bring a trailer. <laughs> and we've gone like, we've gone like what, 400 miles? I yeah. mean, we're cruising, baby, cruising. I don't know. I don't get it. I th I think it's fine. Seems okay to me. Never worked so hard to drive straight. Uh, <laughs> Who knew? Hey, buddy. Ryan. How was it? I would like to offer you a deep, heartfelt thank you. Okay. For the work that you've done in getting us through California safely so far. Thank you. How come? Why do you say that? Because that machine that you bought um, <laughs> has homicidal tendencies. <laughs> really? And um, you've been battling it with a seemingly, seemingly effortless flair. Well, thank you, buddy. Um, I appreciate that. And I'm also doing this, putting it on record. And okay. I think you are the better driver between the two of us. Whoa! Yeah. What? Say it again. Never going to get me to say that again. Oh. That's why it's on video. Oh, I will no. never relive that moment. Okay, that's fair. But okay. I think you are the better driver between the two of us. Whoa! Yeah. What? Say it again. Never going to get me to say that again. But okay. I think you are the better driver between the two of us. Whoa! Yeah. What? Say it again. Never going to get me to say that again. It's not easy, is it? No, I, I legitimately, I think, almost hit three cars when I first got on the, on the freeway. <laughs> I think you did, too. Um, that was everybody rough. was real scared and passed us real fast, <laughs> and then I had a big gap, which was yeah. kind of nice to figure yeah. things out. You but, were all by yourself for a long man, time. Man, um, no, it, it, uh, if you are feeling pressure on your fingertips on the wheel, yeah. you're, you're guiding it too hard. Yep. Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's very light. It honestly feels Feathery. like it's missing a bolt on the pitman arm, and when it suddenly decides it's going to turn, it just, yeah, it just full tilt it. commits. Yeah, it just does it, yeah. And there's nothing you can do to moderate that. No. So. No. It's uh, a... We may jack this up and look tonight. Just because yeah. if we're down to one bolt on that thing and it goes, I, I don't. Nope. I don't It'll know. be an adventure. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing's been an adventure. I'm enjoying That's, it. You're not wrong. <laughs> well, you're thank you, wrong. Kyle. Thank you for that. Let's uh, let's take a little break here. This is feeling oddly romantic. We need to it shut is. this off. Yep. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> done, done, done. <laughs>
Thank you for watching part two of this awesome adventure. This is our last few minutes rolling into Eureka, California. It was our longest travel day by far. Uh, we got into a hotel room that was super sketchy. I didn't end up pulling the camera back out. We ate some food real quick and went to bed uh, so that we could get ready for day three. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you very much. And uh, we will see you next time for part three of this awesome, awesome adventure. Take care, everybody.